What up, y'all? Shagra LT here, back with another video. Oh, it feels so good to make another video this week. Sorry, you guys, I was MIA last week uh, for the past few days. I've really been under the weather here, and oh my gosh, I was sick. I had a cold and all that kind of stuff, and my voice was not was not the best, so I really didn't feel up to doing any videos, but your girl is feeling better, thank God. Um, I think it's just a lot of stuff going on here. I think uh, here in Florida, the weather has been changing hot and cold for the past several days. So I think that kind of affected me and got me sick. And also, uh, the pollen here has been ridiculous too. So it's really been affecting me too. So, and then going to my job and everything where I have to deal with coworkers who've gotten sick and kind of be around them, I'm like, I was just a hot mess last week. So, <laughs> so I really want to make sure that my voice is okay. And I wanted to just still, um, I don't want to do any kind of videos last week just to kind of get myself well. But thank you for everybody who's reached out to me, um, seeing how I've been doing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to everybody who's interacted with me on my community tab on my channel. I truly appreciate that as well. So, uh, but your girl is back and she's feeling a lot better. So thank you very much. <laughs> um, a couple of announcements. First off, I'm doing my child free chat next month in April. It's going to be Thursday, April 13 at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be talking to a child free, a child free advisor, financial advisor. And he's going to be discussing with us as well how to uh, maximize our finances while we are child free. So it's going to be a very interesting chat. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Eventbrite link down below for you. If you are interested in registering, please do. Once you register, we're going to email you the confirmation. It's going to have the Zoom information for you to click on on April 13th so you can go ahead and go live with us during the chat and uh, it's going to be a very interesting conversation I really do believe that so I just wanted to mention that as well so um all right without further ado this video is going to be my top 10 reasons why you as a child free woman should not date a single dad um i've done a video last year as well about my my personal top five reasons why i don't date single dads i'll put the video in the link as well down below for you and um but i thought about adding some additional reasons why um you should not be dating a child, a single dad if you are child free or even childless. Let's say if you want kids in the future, but you don't want, you shouldn't be dating a single dad regardless. So um, I have 10 reasons here. So I'm gonna go ahead and discuss that with you all right now. So without further ado, let's get on with the list. So of course, the number one reason why you should not date a single dad if you are child free is just a simple fact. This is probably on everybody's list is that you don't wanna deal with the ex, right? Uh, his ex might be difficult from time to time. And his ex, uh, if, his, if his ex is in the picture, she may be a lot to deal with. Now, now uh, one of the reasons, especially when it comes to dealing with an ex, is that a lot of guys nowadays do not know how to establish boundaries with the ex. Like, of course, they have a child that they have to co-parent, but it's just, I think a lot of guys have a hard time establishing boundaries. And um, I had a girlfriend previously who dated a single dad, and he had he had a hard time with the boundaries as well. Um, and, he, and because he was not paying child support at the time, he would let the ex get away with murder in that relationship. Like, she, she would be calling on times at night, asking for little, like, BS favors that to, to ask him to do when she can really do herself and uh one day my my friends um my friend decided that she didn't want to be hanging around him like that no more say listen you need to start establishing boundaries with your ex or else i'm done so but like i said because he wasn't paying child support and she, and she was quick to saying oh well if you don't do this for me i'm gonna take you to court he was gonna let he let her get away with a lot of crap so one day she was like you know what i'm just tired of this and she ended up breaking up with him but yeah a lot of single dads nowadays don't know how to establish boundaries with their ex so i personally don't want to deal with an ex myself i don't want to deal with your a third party in my relationship i don't want to deal with her calling all times of night um you know you have to go to her place for whatever reason and all that kind of stuff like i don't want no person in my relationship i'm sorry because Besides just me and my man only so um, that's probably number one reason it's probably on your list as well why you should not date a single dad um, that is that you have to deal with the ex so that's number one uh, the number two reason is that it's hard to keep things casual with a single dad um, I think most single dads um, because they kept things casual in their previous relationship that's probably how they got a baby in the first place um, a lot of single dads are really especially if the kids are young, they're really trying to find an actual partner for, for them so that way they can help take care of the kid. So if you're interested in only just keeping things casual, you don't want anything too serious with a single dad, it's going to be kind of hard to keep it that way with him because he's looking for an actual permanent partner that can help him raise his children, his child or his children. So um, keeping things casual is going to be number two on my list. Um, yeah, they just they kept things casual in the beginning and because of that, they ended up getting a baby out of it probably. So I don't suggest you date a single dad if you don't want to um, keep things casual. So uh, the number three reason why you should not date a single dad if you are child free is that uh, his kids will always come first. 
they will always come first so anything were to happen in y'all situation whether you guys make plans to go somewhere to travel to do anything they always have to make sure that the kid is taken care of now if the kid gets sick if anything were to happen to that child their child will always come first in that situation and um a lot of times especially with single dads if they have the full custody of the kid that is going to be a hindering factor in y'all relationship so the kid will always make sure that they are um taken care of in their situation and if anything were to happen whether you guys make plans to go somewhere and do anything that will always Always cancel always always because of the child situation so uh, his kids will always come first is my number three um, number four is that children may interrupt your to get your time together just like I mentioned number three if you guys have plans y'all have dinner plans y'all want to go out in the town you guys plan a little vacation or whatever by yourselves uh, the children may interrupt y'all time together so if the kid gets sick um, anything happens like any romantic late night dinners may get cut short because of the kids anything like that you know you guys will always have to cut things short all of the time that's another reason why I personally don't want to date single dads because when I'm, when I'm looking forward to something especially if it's like maybe I had a rough week I'm looking forward to going out to dinner with you traveling you know having little vacations here and there road trips here and there and there's always cancellations when it comes to a kid if they get sick if the baby mama's acting up you know she, she can't watch the child or he just, just can't simply find a babysitter your plans will always get canceled when it comes to a kid so yeah so it's definitely a deal breaker for me i'm like when i'm ready to go and do something especially myself my, me myself if i'm ready to go out and do something i want to go ahead and just get up and go i don't want to have to worry about who's going to watch my child who's going to do all that situation that's just a headache to deal with so yeah so children may interrupt your time together is my number four uh, the number five reason why you should not date a single dad is because dating a guy with kids can be unexciting sometimes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, y'all constantly doing kid-friendly stuff when you are, when you as a child-free woman is, you know, you always want to get up and go. You're always doing adult activities, but then you want to kind of downgrade y'all stuff and do only child, like kid-friendly activities with the kid. It's not going to always be a fun experience. Like, sometimes it's like me personally, if I don't feel like really interacting with other people and just being with me and my man, I can go ahead and just do that. I don't have to worry about you know associating with other parents if i don't want to or just doing going to you know kids stores and kid locations and kids kid fun friendly stuff i don't want to do all that so yeah dating a guy with, with kids can be uh, unexciting sometimes you know he may not be able to go on adventures you're uh, looking forward to so if you have a if you're kind of a spontaneous kind of person you want to have a road trip last minute you know they're not going to always be able to do that so yeah it's not going to always be exciting the number six reason is uh, his kids may not be nice to you. Um, I see a lot of children nowadays, especially when their kids break, I'm sorry, the kids nowadays when their parents split, is that the kids will always, um, they, they're not going to be so nice to you because they want their, their biological parents to get back together. So children don't always respond well to their dad dating someone new. You know, they don't always respond well to that. They may treat you a certain type of way. You could be the nicest person in the world, but that child is like, hey, you are not my mom. So guess what? I don't want you over here. So kids will always uh, treat you a certain type of way from the beginning. So unless the dad puts a nip in the bud in that very quickly, the kids will not probably not like you in the very beginning. So the number seven reason is that you might actually feel jealous in this relationship, whether the dad may have a very close relationship with the child and the child just simply don't like you, or um, let's say if the father has a, a great relationship with his ex and they kind of spend time together, you may get jealous of that. Um, as silly as it sounds, it can be hard to manage your feelings if he has kids. It really, it really can. So you may f you feel some type of way if a dad is constantly um, out and about doing things with a child and you don't go, or like I mentioned before with the ex, you know, if they have a great relationship, there's always going to be that in the back of your mind. What if you guys break up and then he end up getting back together with the, with the ex? So you got to have to constantly worry about that. You know, like I said, as silly as it may sound, you know, it's going to be hard to kind of manage your feelings if he has kids. So you might feel a little jealous with that. The number eight reason is that you may become too attached to the kids. Um, this is another reason why me personally, I don't want to be attached because it's just, um, if you and him don't last forever, the loss you'll feel could be very dramatic. Um, you may get really attached. Women, t period, I think is just very attached to kids really quickly. We're, we're naturally maternal. So I guess uh, most of us at least are just naturally maternal. So we're going to get attached to the kids very quickly. And if you and that man don't end up working out, then it's like, okay, you're breaking up with him, but you're also breaking up with the kids. So more than likely, he's not going to allow you to see those kids no more. And then that attachment that you've, that bond that you've had connected with that child is no longer going to be valid in your life. So so yeah so you maybe come to attach to the kids and if they all break up then it's like yeah you're not gonna be able to see them anymore and that would really hurt so 
uh the number nine reason it can be hard to be your authentic self okay um <laughs> i had a, a girlfriend um she dated a guy and this this girl she she was definitely a cusser she cussed a lot and that was that was just her her personality she cussed a lot and she dated a guy with kids so she acted she kind of acted like she could really be herself around the kid like if she cusses a lot and do all that kind of stuff you can never she couldn't do that around around the kid right so you may need to change your behavior when you're around his kids so if you're a natural like you cuss a lot or you just you know say certain things that it's not really a kid friendly thing to say you know you're gonna have to change your your personality around a child so you're not really being your authentic self around them you know so that's something so if you're not really feeling that that probably won't be the best situation to be in so i personally want to be my personal self when i'm around my man and that's another reason why I, like don't be around kids because you know sometimes i very have a, i have a really sarcastic attitude sometimes and i just don't want to have to tone that down a little bit when it comes to a kid so yeah i just yeah i probably don't need to be around kids like that <laughs> so um huh okay so my last reason why you should not date a single dad if you are child free or childless is that the past will always come up a lot and uh past meaning uh his ex if you hate hearing about his exes dating a guy with kids is not for you i would definitely um you know mention that too the past will always come up so if the dad is always saying oh my ex used to do this you know i can't stand when she did, did this and you know you kind of remind me of my ex when you do that it's like the past will always come up in a situation so if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to always be brought up when it comes to that then definitely don't date a single dad and here's a bonus reason uh ladies i think another reason why i personally don't want to uh, date a single dad too is that um, he might have some emotional scars now I I had talked to a, a single dad um, I think it was like last year or two years ago uh, I'll put the link for the video I did for that down below as well from the time that I almost got with a single dad a lot of his emotional scars uh, will come up like he was talking all the time and um, he was married previously he had a daughter and uh, he was married previously and then when they got divorced he dated another girl um, that they were you know they dated or whatever for a while but both of, both his wife and also his ex-girlfriend they ended up cheating on him so when we were talking on the phone a lot he will always say little things like you know my wife did this and you know he would um kind of like call me all the time like certain times a day if i didn't pick up the phone and answer it he will always have an attitude about that like he thought that i was always talking to somebody else so make sure when you're talking to somebody make sure that they are completely 100 percent healed from any traumatic or traumas that they had in the past especially if they uh ended up getting divorced in a bad way uh like i said the guy i was talking to a couple years ago his wife cheated on him and then his girlfriend ended up cheating on him as well so he has that emotional he doesn't trust a lot of women so because of that i felt like i was the brunt of that like like he won't let the past with his exes go so make sure when you're talking to somebody period regardless if it's a man or a woman just make sure that they are emotionally 100 percent healed from any past traumas and past relationships that they've had because that's definitely going to be coming back to you when um you're going to be paying for those that person's mistakes because of um their situation and what they did so that's probably a bonus reason just make sure they're not make sure they're 100 healed from that so uh y'all that's my list you guys like i said before I, I i personally think if you are regardless if you are a man or a woman if you are a child-free person do not date somebody with kids that is not the, that is not the best dating scenario now if you're one of those lucky people that met somebody that had kids and y'all got y'all fell in love and lived happily ever after good for you but nine times out of ten especially in this dating market today dating a single parent is not going to be the best option for you there's always going to be some issue always <laughs> okay now I know it's hard right now in the dating market to kind of find a child-free person to date, but if you are open to dating a single parent, I would suggest maybe two scenarios. I would suggest either dating a single parent who has older children. Hopefully they're over the age of 18. They're moved out. They, they're paying their own bills. They're not affecting you and your uh, partner. So as long as that's a situation, you may consider that. Or if you want to date somebody who is a widower, so you ain't got to worry about dating. Um, sorry, you don't, you don't have to worry about dealing with the, the other person. So uh, those are only two scenarios I might consider dating someone um, with kids. Um, I prefer somebody who has, um, you know, children who are older. I don't want to date nobody who um, has younger children. And um, 
Oh, sorry about that. I, I prefer somebody who has older children because I don't want to deal with anybody that's paying child support. I really don't. Um, when somebody's paying child support, that's hurting their finances. I don't want to deal with that. Um, also, like I said, just make sure that the ex is not in the picture. So make sure if you date somebody, it may be a widower. So that's that's probably the best uh, two situations I would consider ever dating a guy with kids. So comment down below let me know what you guys think of this video shout out to all the child free gang thank you so much for everything i appreciate your love and support for my channel uh please make sure if you're here please make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well because your girl's trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the summer and i really would appreciate your uh love and support for my, my channel so if you want to follow me on social media please do i am at child free bw on instagram and i'm also if you want to email me please do at child free black woman at yahoo.com so guys thank you guys once again for all the love and support for my channel i love you all so much and um please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and i'll check you guys out in the next one take care